uh, you know, I woke up today and the sun was shining, the birds were singing, and I'm just excited because knowing that as scary as this time is with the ocean dying and literally not one person caring about the ocean dying, I, I really truly feel that Beach Grit has its cause now that pro surfers, they're gonna come and go, right? They turn over every so often. So 189, as important as that was, whatever. If pro surfers aren't free, then they're not free, that's fine. But the ocean, the ocean is going to be here forever. And again, we are the only people that care about it. Surfers and Beach Grit is going to be the only organization where the ocean is its cause. So that's exciting to me. As we talked about last time, it's very important for there to be shame, for there to be enemies of the ocean and friends of the ocean. We really have to, identify first who the enemies of the ocean are so we can do something about them. So if you recall last week, number one enemy of the ocean is Jeep. Jeep makes cars that drive on the beach. Jeep is an enemy of the ocean. Number two, we have Eric Logan. Eric Logan takes a lot of pictures of himself supping and he stopped doing that. I can't remember why that made him an enemy of the ocean other than just being really rude to the ocean to just stick your paddle in it. Ocean doesn't want that. It's shaming. It's like little spanks. Little naughty spanks of the ocean is, is just rude. Look at me. Oh. <laughs> Eric, if you want to be a friend of the ocean or at least get off the enemies of the ocean list, there's real practical steps you can take. And this is just the best part of this enemy, the enemy of the ocean list, I think, is that really it's going to create change. And so Eric, if you want to get off, you must one, start shortboarding. You must two, stop supping. You must three, take Baby Yoda off your avatar. It's very much too manipulative, very too much cute. I look at it and I feel cute feelings towards you that is inappropriate. And number four, you must come right here into the shed to discuss various things, ocean related probably, environmental. We're environmentalists now. And so we can talk about those things amongst other things. Uh, enemies of the ocean continuing. So again, we have Jeep, we have Eric Logan, we have wave pools of course, it goes without saying that wave pools are hurting the ocean's feelings by trying to mimic what the ocean does naturally, but very clearly not as well. So wave pools are saying, hey ocean, Look what you can do, we can do it better. I don't know at where that's an appropriate attitude to take. It's just a rotten attitude that needs to get rubbed out. Again, Jeep, ELO, wave pools, CO2. CO2 is killing the ocean, carbon dioxide. Oxygen is a friend of the ocean, carbon dioxide, an enemy of the ocean, killing the ocean directly. And last, we have Kelly Slater, really touchy here. Maybe we'll talk more about this later, but first we must get on to today's enemy of the ocean. There's a couple we must talk about. Number one, big wave surfing contests are enemies of the ocean. Now, I've thought a lot about this. I wondered for a time if surf contests in general were enemies of the ocean, but after deliberation, no, they are not. Anything under 20 foot is okay. Big wave competitions like the one we just saw at Jaws, enemy of the ocean. Do you wanna know why? You might be thinking it's because of all the jet skis, helicopters, fuel, all that, to people driving in, cars parked on the cliff, exhaust spewing everywhere. No, it is not because of that. That is maybe good, maybe bad. I don't know about exhaust. I don't know really what's in exhaust, so I can't speak to the exhaust problem. What I know is when those big wave professional surfers in the contest wipe out, boom, they tumble head over heels, get pushing down to the depths of the ocean. What do they do in the ocean's very heart? They pull a ripcord on their safety vests, inflating them, heading to the surface. Okay? Now that seems good, but do you know what inflates those safety vests? Yes, number four enemy of the ocean, CO2. Those things are inflated by carbon dioxide. The surfers are going into the ocean inside the ocean, down deep there, and filling it with CO2. I don't know of anything more egregious than that. And so, big wave surf contest, I'm sorry. Unless you lose the safety vests, you will remain enemies of the ocean. You lose the safety vests, and then we can, there can be, gotta figure out some kind of process to get off the enemy list, back into good standing, like ELO. Uh, maybe big wave surf contest can do some, maybe you can go down and inflate oxygen down there. Or maybe you can have some kind of carbon dioxide offset program where for every vest that's pulled that inflates with carbon dioxide, there is somebody shooting oxygen into the ocean, like lots of oxygen. 
because again, the CO2 is killing the ocean. Big wave surf contest, enemies of the ocean. Now there's two more from Discord. Um, these ones, very, very, very iffy. So we have one, enemies of the ocean, submarines, Suave Urchin says on Discord, submarines with their phallic dildo shaped holes poking around in her, uninvited, just a thought. Now, I really did give this a thought. As a submarine captain myself, I have great passion for the submarines and submarine captains and submarine workers of the world. I feel a sort of kinship, I feel there is a kinship. I was a submarine captain, I am a submarine captain. Once a submarine captain, always a submarine captain, I think, as they say. And I don't know for a fact that the ocean has not invited this, that the ocean is not enjoying this, that it's not pleasurable to the ocean, that it's not consensual between the ocean and the submarine. So I understand the thinking here, but I would like to do a little more research on the issue of consensuality between submarines and the ocean. So we'll come back to this one. We'll put in the category of needs more uh, research on that one. We have another one, and this is from Private Cuts. I have a deep suspicion that all lizards are enemies of the ocean, since they supposedly evolved from fish, abandoning our dear ocean for the land. Now, I see where you're going with this, but I feel that lizards, by abandoning the ocean, actually are helping the ocean. The ocean can only sustain so much life. Lizards getting out of there, polluting the land, great. The land can take a lot more than the ocean. The ocean is sensitive. She's just like a little baby Yoda herself. So. Lizards leaving, good for the ocean, I'm gonna say, which makes me think more animals should leave the ocean. I think sharks. Sharks are evolving rapidly. We've already learned that they figured out how to keep their fins below the water when they're swimming to avoid detection. Sharks are evolving by um, learning real modern warfare maneuvers and tactics. Basically forming a pincher around Florida right now, six of them with possibly thousands more. So sharks are evolving. I think sharks could actually become friends of the ocean if they evolved some legs, walked out of that ocean and got to land. Now, this would be terrifying for us, obviously, for us people who live on land, having sharks running around eating everyone in their homes and all that, that's bad but it's not as bad as being an enemy of the ocean. I will say it right now, that people getting eaten in their homes by sharks is not as bad as the ocean dying. We have to make hard choices. The greater good is what we're going for here, and the greater good is the health and safety of the ocean, to be quite honest. I would like to see sharks maybe get out of the ocean. I would like to see um, maybe whales. Whales are so big, taking up, I would imagine, so much of the ocean's resources that if whales could just get out and be kind of like elephants, we could put them in zoos and I think they'd be really cute in a zoo. And if they could figure out just how not to be in water, we'll just plop them in the zoo with the elephants probably. I, I would imagine they'd get along well. Dolphins could definitely get out. Dolphins could be our new dogs. Everybody's a bit tired of dogs at this point and if dolphins got out of the ocean and became our pets with like little furry legs, that'd be really cute. I think that lizards are actually friends of the ocean for getting out and I think they should take some pals with them out of the ocean. So yeah, that's pretty much it for today. Um, this is going to be moving if I can convince Derek. I think I have convinced him. This video series is so important. I think it just needs to go to the Beach Crit channel. Uh, where we'll have more eyeballs because, you know, our message can go viral. We, again, surfers, if this message gets out, we can save the ocean. And we're the only ones working on it right now. We're the only ones trying. Apparently, we're the only ones who care. So this needs a bigger audience. Uh, we'll see you next week to further strategize, to further think about who needs to be on the enemy of the ocean list and what we can do to them that's bad.